12 rounds at World Championships that take place over two days. Eventually I hit the final, top seven in the world. Each judge has a flip bar in front of them and they will hold up the number that they think you placed out of all seven contestants. And as it's getting closer to me, they call the guy next to me, they lift up his numbers and I realize, but they never used any ones yet. And at that moment, they lift up their files and all the judges placed me number one. So I was clean slate, top of the charts, world champion. In 2011, I went to Austria and I won world championships again. But except this time, I didn't only win the Electric Boogie World Champion title. I came second in the world for hip hop. So I got rated the highest ranked dancer in the world in 2011 because no other dancer ever accomplished that. When I came home after World Championships for the second time in 2011, I assumed that success would come my way. But when I came home from World Champs, it was like the complete opposite happened to me. There was nothing. There was no funding from government. There was no, no structure, no direction for me, no sponsorship, no job opportunities. And I kind of took it out of myself after that. I was so disappointed. I was so to torn apart that I felt I'm going to be normal now. I was so hurt at that point that I thought, you know what? What's the worst that can happen now? I lost everything I had. I lost who I am. And I got caught up in this messy world, this dangerous, dark path. My lifestyle was unmanageable. So I did coke, I did tuck, ecstasy, shrooms, liquid acid, the works. And I myself have a very competitive nature. So if I go into a new thing, if I go into something, a vibe, I always want to be the best at it. And I almost started competing with other groups of people, with other people and individuals to be better than them at selling drugs, at taking drugs, at parting hard. I definitely think that was my lowest point. Uh, towards the end of, of all the, the parting, eventually I couldn't take it anymore. At that point I, I actually broke down. I remember the day I went outside, I was wearing a, a white t-shirt in my boxer shorts. I went outside my house and, and I prayed to God and I said to God, if you give me one more chance, just one more chance, I will do you proud and I'll do myself proud. I wasn't as spiritual when I was younger because our family never went to church that often. But God was my father. He was the father figure that I never had because he was guiding me in ways that I never saw before. But only after I took that dark path, only after I made all those mistakes and I got to a point where I didn't have anything and I didn't want to be that person anymore, did I finally accept God and take him on as a father figure and allow him to guide me. A couple of months ago, I'd met a guy and, and, and he offered me an opportunity to, to teach dancing in schools. And I didn't really take it seriously because of the space that I was in at the time. I called him up, I said, listen, I'm in a, in a tight spot here. Do you have any opportunity for me? Can you give me guidance? Can you even just give me a chance to come and spend time with you? Because you see me for my potential and, and you're still willing to give me a chance. And, and he said to me, no problem. I've been waiting for you to contact me come through, come see what it's about and see if you like it. And he put me on the spot. He said, today I have Blake Williams with me, a two-time hip hop world champion, and he's gonna share a little bit about his story. But I got up and something told me, don't worry, it'll be fine. Just speak your heart. Just speak your heart, speak about your experience and everything will be okay. And for the first time that day, I, I got to share my story. I got to share my trip to world champs. I got to relive the experience in my mind. I get a bit uh, teary when I think about it. Um, and then I got to share my, my experiences, the dark experiences, because I'm still very young and kids at high school, 
like the age is almost the same. They could relate to me, they can relate to the dancing. There was this power in the room in what I had to say and, and they took it in and they took it for their own lives and their own life experiences. And that was truly the turning point for me in my life where, where I could actually inspire other people to become the best that they can be. I believe that, that with, with God on my side and me walking in his path, I mean, any challenge can come my way. He's putting it there because he knows that I can overcome it. Everything that's in my future, that lies in my future, is because of Him. And I've learned to embrace that and accept it and do the best that I can do to just make Him proud. And He's the Father that I want to make proud for the rest of my life.